Good evening, everyone. A 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball personal box coming at you. This is for uh, John Johnson, old JJ, with a box. He wants to give this a shot. Let's see what we got for you, sir. Thank you. We've got an original card in here. And let's see if we could pull some nice variations. Maybe an Otani. Shohei Otani is the big, the big chase, of course. And of course, we also have, uh, I don't know, there are a lot of different short prints and variations that we can do. There's Nick Drowski. Nick Drowski saying that, uh, that he was just like, yeah, he didn't think. He just bought, worked out for him. And he doesn't even collect basketball. He, en he ended up with the Lakers and ended up with a Kobe Bryant autograph. So that's, that's, the, that's the magic of the random team. The best card I've pulled from Heritage is probably one of those uh, Otani base cards that we pulled out. Those, I think, go for, I don't know what they go for now, but I think when this first came out a week ago, 200 bucks, I think, straight up. I think variations maybe go for 500. Shorter prints maybe. Uh, but there's 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 some of those nickname variations that'll get you your spot money back. I think we pulled some nice autographs too that'll get you your spot money back. Since there's only like a few autographs per case, that drives up the price of the autographs. Even, even for players that you might not think would get a lot, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that was cool. At, at least that's, that's what I've heard from them. The feedback I've heard from people. I think someone got like a Raphael Devers autograph or something random like that, and it was like, oh yeah, you know what? That, that, that sold for X Y Z on, on eBay. So it's worth doing the. Uh, I say this in every heritage break, but I gotta say it again. It's worth looking up all of the codes on the back because I know I'm gonna miss a short print here and there. There's base short prints too. We'll try to spot as many variations as possible, but it's worth doing your uh, diligence on it to make sure that there isn't some like you know random variation that we missed because all all of these little variations will have value some more than others but you know that's like that's like any other case break but we'll try to spot the ones that are easy to find So obviously everything will ship to John Johnson. And once John gets these, I'm sure that he will look on the backs of these cards right here and note that anything over any card numbered 401 or and up is your base short print. And we'll look on the bottom numbers right here. Go to cardboardconnection.com to make sure he sees the variations. The cards that end in 65 are uh, are your regular base cards and anything else will be some sort of short print. There's a facsimile autograph. See, one easy one to spot are, are the color swaps. The yellow text is uh, will be white on a short print. These rookie cups, some of these will have 1969 on them. And maybe we'll see an action variation, which are those are also pretty easy to spot. All right, good luck, John. One relic or autograph per box. They're mostly relics. The autographs are few and far between per case. Uh, poor Jose De Leon. Tommy John surgery for him. Feel like he was on the cusp of breaking out for the Rays. Former Dodger prospect. I don't think Jonathan Lucroy is signed yet, right? Isn't that crazy? I think Mustak has finally signed a uh, finally signed a one-year deal, but it was for like half of his qualifying offer or something like that, which is also insane. I think Carlos Gonzalez also re-signed with the Rockies. He took far less money and far less years than he could have. 
a couple years ago when they offered him an extension. Out of 999, Didi Gregorius. I think this is something that a lot of fans, you know, don't, baseball fans especially, don't think about. There's like, yeah, everyone sees like the the massive free agent numbers and the ridiculous amounts that, that these players are getting paid. But there's a lot of times, you know, where a lot of players end up in a bad free agent cycle. A lot of players don't get paid what they're worth. Relative to their peers, of course. Not relative to us. <laughs> relative to us. You know, they're getting, they're getting paid a boatload of money. See what else we got here. Come on, let's see some big hits here. Something give me a give me a fun variation. Well, we got a black border right here. Checklist. I, I think these are one out of. I think we looked on one of the wrappers. I think it's one out of every fifty some odd packs. So these are not too common. Uh, oh, there's the hit. That's game use memorabilia, Carlos Correa. All right, so no auto in this, but let's see in that small little stack that's left. Let's see if we could uh, find a a nice uh, short print. Maybe Otani? No, nope. Cameron Mabin, Corey Dickerson. Well, that's it, I'm afraid, John. Let's see what's in this box topper. Maybe an autograph, some of these... Originals can be autographed. Is it Ray Euler's autograph? No, but a classic Pilots card here. Seattle Pilots, maybe? All right, and there you go. John, thanks for giving this a shot, appreciate it. We've got more personal box available on jazbeeshobbyland.com, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out, the Otani hunt and variation hunts continue. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.